Hereditary hemochromatosis is a genetic disorder that causes the body to absorb too much iron from the diet. All the problems associated with iron overload from the benign bronzing of the skin to the life-threatening liver cancer can be traced back to one crucial protein called HFE. The HFE gene on chromosome 6 encodes the HFE protein. The HFE protein is normally found in cell membrane. However, in most people with hereditary hemochromatosis, HFE is missing from the cell membrane. Some people with hemochromatosis have less serious complications because they make a mutated HFE protein that still works, though not as well as the normal HFE protein. HFE regulates iron in two different systems. The most important system is located in the small intestine, where the body first encounters iron from food we eat. HFE is thought to help cells sense the amount of iron already present in the body. If iron is needed, the villi cells of intestine are signaled and iron receptors are made and placed at both ends of the cells. Iron transport begins with the villi cells migrate from the valley to the tip of the villi. Receptors at the intestinal side of cell first grab the iron molecules and then draw them inside the cell. They pass through the cell's cytoplasm and exit the other side through additional iron channels that deliver the iron directly to the bloodstream. In hemochromatosis, HFE protein is absent and the sensory ability of cells in the intestine fails. The villi cells are tricked into sensing an iron deficit. Twice as much iron is transported into the bloodstream. Once the iron is in the bloodstream, it binds to a transferrin molecule that transports iron to the organs and tissues that needed it. Many transferrins are present in the bloodstream waiting to bind iron. Usually, there isn't enough iron to fill them up, leaving about 70% of iron binding spots free. In a person with hemochromatosis, because so much iron is present, the transferrins become saturated, leaving 0% of the iron binding spots free. Transferrin delivers most of the iron to the bone marrow, where the iron is incorporated into hemoglobin molecules in newly formed red blood cells. Much of the rest of iron is delivered to the liver, the primary storage area for excess iron, hair and in other tissues and organs that store iron. HFE plays a second role in iron uptake. To get iron inside a liver cell, transferrins docks to a receptor on the outside. HFE is usually attached to this receptor, controlling its ability to deliver iron to the interior of the liver cell. If HFE remains attached, iron is not delivered into the cell. If HFE is absent, as for most people with hemochromatosis, the whole complex of receptor, transferrin and iron is engulfed and the iron is released into the cytoplasm of liver cell. The iron that is not immediately used by the cell is encased within an aggregation of molecules called ferritin. In people with hemochromatosis, more and more iron is encased within ferritin and other storage systems inside this cell until the storage systems are full. At this point, which may take 30 years or so, excess iron is unguarded and it unleashes its toxicity by creating hydroxyl radicals. The hydroxyl radicals react with other structures in the cell 
proteins, fats and DNA, damaging and even killing the cells. Due to a single letter genetic code change, the HFE protein becomes absent from the cell. Most people with hemochromatosis have inherited from both their mother and father a version of gene that contains an A where a G usually resides. This gene version is called C282Y. The consequences of this change is seemingly minor. Instead of inserting a cysteine molecule into the growing HFE protein, the cell's protein production machine inserts a tyrosine. The change has huge consequences. The mutant protein cannot fold into its proper shape. Normally, the HFE protein binds to a shipping protein that carries HFE to its place in the cell membrane. The C282Y HFE protein is a different shape. The shipping protein can no longer bind to the mutated HFE and thus no HFE is present in the cell membrane. The C282Y HFE stays in the cell interior and eventually degraded. A few percent of people with hemochromatosis carry a different version of HFE gene called H63D, which is also different by a single base change. This shape change does not affect HFE's presentation to the cell membrane like C282Y. However, H63D protein do not work as well as normal HFE to control iron absorption. But since it does work somewhat hemochromatosis in someone with the H63D version is usually less severe. Both copies of chromosome 6 can have the H63D version. Alternatively, one copy may have the H63D and the other the C282Y version. While most people with two C282Y versions are likely to develop hemochromatosis, less than 2% of people with one or two H63D versions will develop hemochromatosis. Why some people with H63D genes develop hemochromatosis and why some don't is still unknown, but some genetic differences and environmental differences may be at work. Finally, there are still some versions of the gene and possibly completely other genes that can cause hemochromatosis that have not been deciphered. Hereditary hemochromatosis is caused by a mutation on chromosome 6 in the HFE gene. Everybody has two HFE genes, but a person with hereditary hemochromatosis has inherited two mutated HFE genes, one gene from each parent. For this to happen, each parent must have at least one of the mutations, which is usually the C282Y type shown as the red chromosome. When the father and mother produce sperm and eggs, only one of their two HFE genes enter each cell. About half of the cell get the C282Y type and half get the normal type. When a sperm carrying the C282Y type fertilizes an egg carrying the C282Y type, the resulting child inherits both genes and usually develops hemochromatosis. In a few cases, a person has hemochromatosis but only has one C282Y gene. The other gene they have is frequently the H63D version of HFE. The inheritance works the same way as before except one parent has the H63D version and the other has at least one C282Y version.